Hey Chris, Rusty Cooley here. Just uh, doing some practicing myself. Um, to answer your question, um, nowadays, no, I don't follow uh, any sort of practice schedule. Um, I kind of base everything that I'm doing on um, what's going on at the moment. It's, uh, it's become based on the things that uh, I have coming up. Do I have a do I have a gig coming up? Do I have a session coming up? Am I recording a, a guest solo for someone? Am I um, doing a DVD or, or whatever it might be? Um, so it's very driven and based on um, current events, just because at this point my life is very, very busy. And um, I don't have the luxury of uh, sitting around and practicing for 8 and 12 and plus hours like I used to uh, in my wee years. So um, to answer the question, it's all based on, on what's going on. Um, as far as warming up, I simply um, start with things that are comfortable for me, no, nothing specific. I don't, I don't ever practice any kind of uh, um, nonsensical exercise, meaning I don't sit around and practice like, you know, I'm not going to practice things that I'm not going to use in my playing. I mean, that's not a very usable um, idea. Um, I try to practice things that uh, I, once I get them down to speed or warmed up or whatever, I can actually use them in a solo or in a rhythm or whatever it might be. Um, but uh, back in the day, I certainly did have practice schedules. Uh, matter of fact, I've got, uh, I have them all from through the years. I can go back and dig out boxes of practice schedules from when I was in high school, um, dated. Um, and it's very important to have a good practice schedule. And, um, you know, but it's not good enough just to have a practice schedule. Um, I mean, you want to be setting goals and set goals and your, and your practice schedule is what will actually allow you to attain your goals. So, I mean, it's not uh, enough to say, hey, I'm going to practice scales and arpeggios for, you know, X amount of minutes a day or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, find the things that you want to get better at and add those to your schedule. So certainly technique is going to be a category. You know, um, and depending on the level you're at at this particular moment, it will depend on the things that you're actually practicing. So if you're an advanced player, you might be working on, you know, alternate picking and, uh, well, actually, you know, not, it does, you don't even have to be advanced to be working on alternate picking. Alternate picking should just be part of um, the things you're working on in general. You know, alternate picking, hammer-ons and pull-offs, um, string skipping, tapping, arpeggios, spending time learning new things, um, um, if, if you're into learning songs by other people, then that's a form of ear training, you know, spend so many minutes doing that. Um, you know, you just have to kind of gather up the ideas and things that you really want to be uh, good at and formulate a good uh, order um, to put them in. And um, generally, I practice whatever the example is. I usually practice everything for like five minutes a day um, when I was doing such a schedule. <clears throat> And uh, I would just set the timer, like if I was practicing arpeggios, um, uh, I would never set a limit to how long I would practice a subject. So say if on my practice schedule I had arpeggios and uh, modes and tapping and string skipping or, or whatever, you know, the subject might be. Um, if I'm working on sweet picking arpeggios and it's going great and my 30 minutes or hour is up, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to run with it. Uh, I'm going to run with it until it's until I've run it into the ground and burn out or fatigued and need to take a break or it's time to change subjects because if it's going well then there's no sense uh, lighting up on it you just kind of run a you, you know you just kind of want to run with it um, until it's run its course so to speak um, you know because you never know what might come out some of my best stuff um, happens in those moments so um, anyway there's some thoughts on practicing hope it was helpful and uh, see you next time